What's up, gay straights and other days? Melly, I'm back with another episode of Hooked on You, the fucking Dead by Daylight dating simulator. Last we left off, we got a lot more cozy with the Huntress than I thought was possible. Got interrupted, of course. Brought it back a little bit, and then fucked up a little bit towards the end with story time. But we have a chance to bring it back yet again as we're sitting at this bar. Let's see what the Huntress is making for us. Let's, let's check out our bartending skills. Let's fucking get back into this. You and Huntress whisk yourselves away to the bar, and when you arrive, you find an arrangement of... Arts and crafts supplies? What? And are those taxidermy tools? Uh, cool, cool, cool. Are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. You wonder what's going through Huntress's head. Though she's bubbly and enthusiastic, you're always terrified she might snap. Well, it's a reasonable fear. But also, this is a bar. Why are we doing taxidermy? Not that I'm complaining. Taxidermy's fucking cool, but what? Something on your mind? She smiles. Drink this. So you did make me a drink? Why are the Okay. Uh, oh, that looks quite good, actually. Huh, what's in that? Huntress hands you a seemingly normal tropical cocktail. If one were to drug you into some sort of state in which you could be operated on, these flavors would certainly hide the poison. I see your little entity hand in there. Don't think I missed that. I see you. You look around and consider what else there is to live for besides becoming Huntress's little toe. <laughs> Don't say it like that. Hey, it's gonna be an equal, a very loving relationship. How dare you, came? Oh my god. Whatever. And the conclusion is... Bombs away! <laughs> and you're not wrong, but hey, we're a lot more than that. Hey, gimme. You pound the drink. It's quite nice. I'm thinking about making you a present, a mask. Would you be into that? I so would. What animal am I getting? Yes, of course. I've always admired yours. What would you like? Oh, I get to pick. And it can't be a dog, even though I know you like them. There was this ex, they were really into Dobermans, like two into them. It's a long story. No, 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 I get it. It's okay. Rabbit like her? Mm, she's already, she already got the bunny deal going on. Angler could be cool, but I'm not sure I'm really into that. But she does have another skin where she could wear a fluffy cat mask. And that could be adorable. I won't go for the cat mask, cause that could be heckin' cute. I want a fluffy cat mask. Just like the fluffiest white cat mask. Like marshmallow level fluff. Like you can barely make out any other features. What in the fuck? Wait, it was cute. What, did she not like that? But, but you said, okay. What the fuck? It, it could, it could be fun. What, I thought, okay, I'm bad today. Meow. Um, okay, I guess I asked. I'm sorry, okay? I, should I pick the bunny like you? I thought, I thought that would upset you. Okay. Well, I know what I'm gonna be working on tonight. All alone, in my skimpy pajamas. That's not fair. You can't just say that to me. Huntress winks at you. Huh? I mean, should we just like, get out of here? Cause like, no, I'm not that oblivious. I'm not that oblivious either. No, should we just like, Get out of here. Kind of like bring this back because I'm sorry I picked the wrong mask. I thought she'd think it was cute. Like a cute little fluffy thing. Because she seems to think I'm a cute little fluffy thing. So I don't know, but you want to get out of here? These drinks are making me pretty sleepy. Should we just like get out of here? Maybe go get directly into your bed? <laughs> no, that's not how tonight goes. I mean, it's not how it's supposed to go. But who the fuck asked you? If we want to fucking get busy, you're not invited. Go away! Why do I have to go with you? Go away! Not yet, at least. <laughs> you kooky kids. You know, it's very hard to tell how old you are in this anime style. But maturity-wise, pretty sure I'm older than you, Dwight. Soon. What? Huntress, you've got tons of hobbies. Why don't you share something with us that you're passionate about? I don't want there to be an us as in the rest of us. The collective us. Get out of here, you third wheelers. We were about to... Mm. Something less deadly than throwing axes or chasing survivors? Maybe? Just a thought. Hey, she can chase me any day of the fucking week. Okay, you're just a baby. Making more masks? Or wait, making matching gloves? No, you little joker. I'm thinking of a different type of making. Making our victims die fast, medium, or slow deaths, depending on the mood we're in. Ooh, torture, I like you. 
It's another round of Be Careful What You Wish For on Murderer's Island. Dwight, I need your help. Um... Doing something in a different place entirely? Yeah, get, get out of here. Get out of here. You weren't wanted to begin with. You're out of my mind. Meet you there. Get out of here. God. Anyway, where were we? I'm talking about mycology. You know, mushroom. You are just making me love you even more. Oh my goodness. Yes, mushrooms. I picked up a lot of them, and I'm very familiar with which ones make for a great soup base and which ones make you super dead. Teach me, please. I'll show you two mushrooms. You point at the one that's safe to eat. Oh no. Wait, <laughs> despite my lore being mushroom related, I don't know a lot about them myself. Wait, no. Huntress, please. Okay, that sounds easy enough. Not easy enough for me. <laughs> anyway. Well, this one just looks deadly. I think they're both bad. I can eat this one. Oops, that little fellow is an autumn skullcap, and after eating one, if the diarrhea doesn't kill you, the liver failure probably will. I think they're both deadly. I, I think it's both of them. I think there's no right answer. Next up, this one is very easy. I'm sure you'll nail it. Point at the one that won't result in an almost instant death if you eat it. Huntress, I'm very stupid. Uh, I kind of recognize this one, though. I, I've seen this one in a grocery store. Th this one? Uh-oh, -uh. you would have just eaten a deadly dapper leg. I'm gonna ignore the Scooby talk you just did. Which has a name that is both adorable and, well, deadly. Adorable and deadly. You know anyone like that? <laughs> yeah, I do. Please, please forgive this idiot. Please, I'm stupid. Final question. Which will make you jump for joy? Which will make you vomit until you die? Uh-oh. How am I supposed to know? I don't... Oh my god. Okay, um... I'm stupid. What do you mean? This is the good one? Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, hon. That's a destroying angel. It's very deadly. Not to be confused with the wish-granting angel, which is what you might imagine you see when you're hallucinating on your deathbed after chowing down on one of these. Wait. Wait, wait. I... How am I... Anna, this is not very fair. That was fun, right? I like flexing a little more than just my biceps for you. I mean, I appreciate it. But you're gonna actually have to teach me at some point because I'm very stupid. I don't want our love life to be cut short because I picked up something off the ground and decided to eat it. All right, let's see here. Tabulating your answers and... Let's hope you hunt better than you forage because you're bad at foraging. Very bad. Get us all killed bad. <laughs> Aw, oh, even when you're calling me a dumbass, I can't be mad at you. You're so sweet about it. Huntress claps her hands giddily. <laughs> you're so cute. I appreciate you spending time with me tonight. I know the other killers are all very alluring in their own way. Uh, I don't know about Mr. Nice Guy over there, Mr. Trapper over there, but I guess if you want to be nice. It means a lot that you'd spend time with a forest bumpkin such as myself. I mean... Why the fuck would I say that? Well, you're no bumpkin, and I was not forced. I've chosen you without hesitation every time. Yeah, you're no bumpkin. You're no bumpkin. You're a strong, independent woman. Don't you demean yourself. Hunter sleeps on you, knife to your throat. Uh, what, baby? Did I say something wrong? I'll demean myself if I want to. Um, I'd rather you didn't. Because you don't deserve to be talking mean to yourself. I'm not taking it back. I don't want you to do that. She's angry, but also turned on. This is pretty hot. Uh, what? <laughs> what the fuck, narrator me? We're here. Uh, why? Please, we were about to go somewhere. Potentially into my throat with that hatchet, but I mean, hey. We were going somewhere. Claudette and Dwight are gathering everyone together on the beach. Typical. Why? exactly what the voice said. You should be able to hear the voice. I'm telling you, I'm being honest, that you're the only one who can hear me. You're lying because... Dwight... What? You're lying. Wait, hold on. C could the, could the uh, killers hear you too? I'm... I do want to say... I, I want to say that maybe this narrator might be one of the older survivors if we're gonna go with that. Like, one of the ones that were here before. Because that's what it seems to be building up. I don't think it's what it seems here. I don't know. We'll move on anyway. The gang's all together again on the volleyball court. Seems like only yesterday you were sitting on the sidelines watching everyone get sweaty. That's because it was? Boy, 
Feels like I've been here a lot longer than that, actually. So late that the sun is already beginning to rise. Better get this over with quickly so that I, I mean you, can get some beauty rest. Hmm, hmm. I do not recommend the eternal damnation of the perpetual narrator. Dumb. What? Good thing you've really used your time well since then. Really getting to know the gang. The brain, the mogul, the basket case, the psychotic bunny girl. That's not how you spell that word, but okay. You know, the four types of people. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, everyone is gathering on the volleyball court for a new type of game. Pitch your dream date and see who Mal chooses. This is just not fair. I don't care what anyone else pitches. I'm gonna pick Huntress, because yeah, he got a little dicey back there, but I don't think it was entirely negative. I think that was my best option I could have gone with, despite her putting a hatchet, like, very close to my throat. So... I'm still gonna pick her. Who's ready for round robin? What? What? How round are we talking? No, not to eat, Huntress. Dude, you can't tease her like that. It's not fair. Each killer gets two minutes to tell you all about the dream date they have planned for you tomorrow. Why are you... Why are some of you still planning? I've told, like, pretty much all of you that there's not a chance in hell that I'm picking- Okay, fine. Sure, we'll pretend that y'all have even the smallest mention of a chance. Alright. In no particular order, which is a weird thing to mention, right? Almost like the order does matter. Trapper, why don't you go first? You think you deserve it, even in this case, it's a subtle dig. Uh, sure. Stop talking. I agree. Trapper, without further ado, would you like to make us all uncomfortable by pushing the boundaries of what's acceptable not only in polite society, but within the narrative of this in-world event, and also the larger meta-narrative of a dead-by-daylight dating experience? That was the world's longest sentence, Claudette. Sometimes you just gotta say it. Maybe in less words, that was painful to read. Why, yes, thank you. I'd love to. Ugh. So, Mal, you're thinking of picking me? Not even close. Well, this is your final warning. Pick me and be punished and rewarded. What? Absolutely not. Tomorrow will suck. Probably. I'm not an easy guy to get along with. I know that. You're not a fun guy in general. But I can tell you this much. I'm hiding a secret on this island that will make fans shit themselves with excitement. Are you the fucking secret path to go to Trickster and nobody will pick you because you've basically written like a Reddit nice guy? Joke's on you, I'm still not into Trickster, so no. If you like Trapper, you're gonna love it. I, I don't like you. And if not, you're a maggot. Okay. I think Anna likes all animals, bugs included. Also, everyone, even confident, sexy ladies rabbit masks, better stay the hell away from my yacht. O okay well, um, I'm not going to your yacht, so that won't be a problem. Hit us, spirit. Alright. Figuratively, damn it, Dwight, you gotta watch your words with these people. <laughs> no, please. Spirit, hit them. Please. Th they've interrupted too many moments. Please hit them. Tomorrow, you'll spit in the face of God, die, and be reborn anew. What? Uh, okay. That's it? If you're not intrigued by that, I don't want you. Go draw crayon art with Trapper or dig up whatever mysteries with Wraith. I don't know what those guys do all day. You've suggested two men to the lesbian. I promise you that's not gonna happen. I mean, I am a little intrigued, but I'm sorry my heart's already spoken for. Do you want to at least specify which god you'll be spitting in the face of? All of them. Ooh. Not gonna lie, it's kind of a turn on. But again, I'm already promised. Sorry, babe. Maybe in another life? Maybe. Who knows? I might revisit this again. Okay, then, so hydrate tonight if you intend to hang with spirit. I, I don't, but okay. You should hydrate anyway. Sorry, anyway, Wraith? Well, uh, I don't know. I'd really prefer to just tell Mal privately. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. No. Spit it out, boy. I'm not gonna pick you anyway. Um, I don't really know how that's going to work with these game mechanics. What? What if you just whispered it to Mal? I don't want his mouth close to my ear. That's a horrible idea, Claudette. Wraith considers this for a long moment. Too long. That's fine. Without moving, Wraith lowers his voice to a barely audible whisper. Tomorrow, we have to find my bell. Why would I do that? And then I can finally tell you about what I've been working on. Um, I don't care about what you've been working on. I'm sorry. I, I don't give a shit. Goodbye. I mean, maybe, maybe Wraith's ending is like the war-ish ending. I might revisit the game purely just for that and we can just be like, haha, we're playing the system and like dating each other platonically, but in reality we feel nothing for each other. That I'd be down to do. But uh, as of my first playthrough, I don't think so. It's going to be really special. The kind of thing where we will really bond. Pass.
and maybe finally get off this island. I have no desire to leave, but a uh, thank you for that? That's really something to consider for possible replays, honestly. And then maybe we can go on a real date. Okay. You had me and then you lost me. I'm not attracted to you. No. Uh, you done? Is that it? Wraith nods, proud. Uh-huh. Great! Huntress, why don't you take it from here? Yes, please, I can't wait to hear what you have planned for us. Tomorrow morning, I'm planning on a nice atmospheric breakfast on the yacht. Don't worry, Trapper won't even know it's gone. I love the power play, I'm loving the power play. What was that? Nothing. Go away. Then, boy oh boy, I've got such an adventure planned. It involves hunting for treasure. Oh yeah? What kind of treasure? What kind of treasure are we looking for? There is no we! Get, get out of here! You are not included on the state! Guess you'll have to pick me to find out. Let me tell you, it's primo, primo. I don't fucking know. It's stuff. Now if you don't mind, I gotta start preparing because it's clear already that you're going to pick me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Confident. Mysterious. I like it. Back off. And time's up, everyone. Gosh, you'll need to dream about these options so you're ready to choose in the morning. Uh, Huntress, I'm going to pick Anna. I, I don't need the morning. Why wait? Now go dream about these swung-worthy options so that you're ready to make a choice come dawn. Have a swell night! Um, did you two forget to mention something? What? No, I'm pretty sure not. Let me go sleep. <laughs> oh gosh, how could we forget? Before you run off to slumber peacefully, there's one more thing to do. Why are you tearing up for it? No reality survival dating competition parody would be complete without singling out one of our contestants who was already teetering on the edge of a psychological break and giving them a little push. Wh what? Uh, hold up. This has been a survival dating competition parody this entire time and I'm just now finding out about it? Come on, the signs were there. You just didn't read them. Welcome to Murderer's Island. It's now time to eliminate one of the killers. Gee, I wonder who I'm gonna fucking eliminate. Oof, it's like butchering, but it hurts even worse. Good! He's been a weird Reddit nice guy this whole time. I think you know who we're killing off. You can't kill a killer, but can you break their heart? Yes, very easily. Do you dare to even try? Yes. You mean... That's right! Tomorrow one of these sexy slicers will not be eligible to take you on a date. Who's it gonna be? But... But why? What do you mean, but why? It doesn't matter. We're only interested in one. Listen. If you would maybe offer me like four equally great women, this might actually be a hard decision, but you've already eliminated half of them by having them be men. So this just makes my job a whole lot easier. Uh, because it's dramatic? Because it's surprising? It really isn't. That's mostly how these dating shows go anyway. People get eliminated. It's fine. Because it's a classic reversal of fate? What? No, it's not. And it will hurt someone's feelings? Someone dangerous. What's it gonna be, champ? What's your thought process here? Trapper seems like he might throttle you in your sleep if you eliminate him. That being said, at least you'd see him coming. Spirit could be anywhere. She floats, and I hear she can disappear. Hard to try. Yes, that is true. But Spirit also can't see shit when she disappears, so I'm not worried about her. Ugh, if you get rid of Wraith, he might cry. And although I totally support normalizing men crying and being vulnerable, it just seems like he might be an ugly crier. Huntress, she might pretend to be okay with it, but then you'll start seeing her behind every tree. Well, that would just be cruel. Because I've just, I've been with her the whole time. That would not make any sense. What I'm trying to say is, I don't envy you, boss. So which sociopath are you eliminating? Three, two, fun. This way was very simple. Trapper, you scare- Well, you don't. You just annoy me. Trapper, you annoy the living shit out of me. You are eliminated. I got an achievement for that. I think it says see you later, Trapper. Either way, very on brand. Did not take me a second. That's fair. Yeah, I don't trust that. Honestly, though, I don't care. You suck. Okay, goodbye. But not in a good way. You bore me, you personality-free maggot. It wouldn't even be fun to kill you. Yeah, okay, sure. Which I totally was gonna do tomorrow the first chance I got. So really, this is a win-win for both of us. Okay, goodbye. Still might kill you, though. Out of principle for eliminating me. Sleep with both eyes open. And have fun on your date tomorrow. Yay, fuck off. Now that you've broken the heart of someone heartless, you should get some shut-eye. Alright, I might die for this, but I don't care. I want the satisfaction of eliminating Mr. Reddit over there. And don't worry too much about the broken heart you've left behind. I, I won't. I will be losing no sleep over this. Well, I might in the interest of keeping myself alive, but you know what I mean. Because, of course, they'll be receiving a consolation prize. They might not get to go home with Mal when this is all over, but they'll never sleep alone again. What? 
What are you? What poor soul are you sending them with? That's right. We're sending our eliminated player home with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, enjoy that, Trapper. <laughs> enjoy that. I wouldn't be surprised if there's body pillows for all the killers of this game by now, but that's so fucking fun. They're all mostly new trickster body pillow. The next best thing to the real trickster, it might not hug you back, but it definitely won't try and stab you. And how do we know? Because I've tried it. That's right, it's Dwight tested. Ugh. You might want to shine a black light on that, uh, trapper. Claudette approved. Yeah, shine a black light on this. I hope you sleep well tonight, Mal. You're my hero for what you've accomplished. I don't know if I want to be your hero, but okay. How can you sleep tonight knowing what you've done? No, not because of guilt. I mean knowing that there's a legit homicidal maniac who hates you so close by. Why don't I just sleep with Huntress? Not like that. I know she's not ready yet. But why don't I just cuddle up with Huntress? Like, what, what is stopping me at this point? Why don't I just do that? How can you sleep tonight knowing what you'll do tomorrow? What do you mean knowing what I'll do tomorrow? What do you want about Ocean? I don't know how you'll do it, but you better go before Dwight and Claudette come back and put you to sleep themselves. You know those two. Schedule, schedule, schedule. Yeah, I know. Let's go. I don't know if I'm gonna sleep, but let's go. Wow, what a crazy way to end the day. An illumination? I didn't even know it was that kind of game. Let's check in with everyone, especially with our fucking shitty, shitty loser. Everyone deserves send-off. Off a cliff. I can't help it if I have thick arms and legs that go until they stop. <laughs> I knew we had a connection from the moment I saw them through my mask. You can never be sure what's going on in the newcomer's mind, but I like my odds for tomorrow. Well, because you know I'm gonna choose you. <laughs> it's so fun hunting for love and not for food or vengeance for a change. <laughs> I don't really know what's happening here. I honestly haven't been paying attention. Oh, Mal, sorry, I forgot. I'm focusing on other things. More important things. Yeah, you, you carry on with that, Wraith. You have fun. One way or another, I won't be here for much longer. Yeah, you actively want to try to escape. I think everybody does, but you especially. And again... Who knows, I might be down to explore you in a platonic way for another playthrough, but for right now, for right now, I guess we'll be getting surface level story. Hello, loser. Yeah. I don't handle rejection well. At least I don't think I do. No one has ever been dumb enough to reject me before. Well, you were screwed from the start because my sexuality literally said no. <laughs> yeah, the more I think about it, the angrier I'm getting. And I'm a giant rage monster, so everyone in this room should be scared right now. Uh, okay. Turn the camera off. Did I think there was a chance I might get eliminated? Yeah, I did. Did I care if I got eliminated? Not even a little. Does the volume of the words I spend talking about how much I don't care about things signify a deeper yearning within me to be seen, heard, and validated by those around me? Nah. What? No, you're not a part of this. You don't get a confessional. I'm sorry, spirit, by the way. I I'm sorry. I know that you want to be seen and stuff, but I'm... I'm promised to somebody else. I'm sorry, we can still be friends though. Also, Trickster, get out of here. It's cool, man. I'm not a part of anything, you feel me? I'm not a cog in anyone's machine. I'm my own machine. Great, can you chugga chugga out of here? This whole thing is pretty cute though. Charmingly low budget, old school marketing vibes. Not gonna lie, I kinda wish I wasn't so busy right now. I'd definitely be down with the reality show dating style competition with survival elements. But I got my new album, upcoming tour, finalizing the new sneaker line, producing a limited series on my life, starting a new social media NFT crypto app, icky, and doing these private gigs over on IP Island. My dudes, you gotta come check it out. IP Island, it's dope. It's where the real killers are hanging out. Fully licensed, no legal drama. Lawyers, take a hike. I'm gonna tell everyone that Trickster said that about them, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Everything I want is right here. I'm talking your favorite established characters from all over pop culture that can't be seen on the silent. Hell, you probably can't even mention them like Ghost Foot. Don't you say it! Look, we get it. You're very popular and in demand. But we have a game to get back to and I don't want to get sued. Yeah, yeah, get it. Get out of here. Get out of here with that pouty face, other me. <laughs> Ghost face. See, th this is why he's me. Because this is exactly the thing that I would do. Get get out of here, little me. Come on! Yeah, come on. <laughs> Whatever, I don't even care. I'm the trickster. See you around, Mal. You too, narrator. Yeah, I guess I'll see you. Bye, me. Um, I have a name, you know. Um, is it Meg? Is it Bill? Is it fucking the other one? The other original that I cannot remember? I've already forgotten Meg or Bill. Maybe. I'm forgetting one of you. You do? 
yes, seriously, they do not pay me enough to deal with you people. This is my turn. Well, I guess I don't get to know your name. But in that case, I'm not gonna check aside my secret survivor theory just yet then. What? No, no, it's not your turn. You're sentient water. How are you even sitting in that chair? What's a chair? It's the thing you're getting all wet. Now it's gonna smell like mildew. Okay, rude. Fine, let's just get this over with. It's your turn, Ocean. Do your check-in. Check-in? I was just looking for the bathroom. Bathroom? Are, are you serious? It's down the hall to the left. It's okay. Never mind. Never mind? What does that mean? <laughs> you definitely went in the chair. No, not you too. This wasn't meant to be confessional time for literally every character in this game. Yeah, why are you two here? Get out. It's okay. We don't have to confess anything. We've just been working our asses off for two days straight and wanted to sit down somewhere. This chair is wet. Cry about it, Dwight. Yeah, I think the ocean just peed on it. How is that but You know what? I don't care. You two are looking pretty pleased with yourselves. Well, as pleased as you can't be with the tears in your eyes. I've got something to confess. Why? Oh, great. What's it gonna be? You ate glue in second grade. You cheated on an algebra test once. Watching Trapper get illuminated was the first time in this unending spiral staircase of pain that is my life that I felt even a modicum of joy. Oh. Well, good for you. I don't know why the psychopath music is playing for you of all people, but cool. Every minute that I'm alive is a nightmare. This place, the sun, these sweet sugary drinks. It sounds fun for a long weekend, but for an eternity? The unrelenting rhythm of crashing waves and wailing seagulls. It's like a crescendoing song of evil that makes me question the very foundation of the universe. Why am I here? Why are any of us here? What kind of sentient being would do this? Please, erase me from this existence, make it so I was never born, pull the plug on this experiment and let my soul be free, and please, please get me out of this polo shirt. Okay, let's get you to bed, buddy. I don't want to go to bed. Going to bed means eventually I'll have to wake up. <laughs> Yikes, huh? That was a weird way to end. Yeah, Jesus, have your existential crisis somewhere else. I know they're deep. Dark, mysterious lore about the silent. I kind of saw that coming. Is dead by fucking daylight, even though I think PSYOP really is holding the reins here. But like, it's dead by daylight. This doesn't surprise me, but let me enjoy my time with Anna before you get all lore on me. Jesus. Ah, oh, well, what are you going to do? You let the camera roll long enough, someone's bound to say something crazy. Anyway, seems like everyone's had their shot to annoy me tonight, so hit the hay and get some rest. Tomorrow is going to be a doozy. And I've gotten the achievement two days in paradise. All right. And we are awake, sweet. Soft sunlight warms your skin, nudging you awake. Oh, so you're using a killer crab as a pillow, which it's sort of okay with. You pull on your beach tire and splash water on your face. Dwight and Claudette approach. Does that look on their faces? Excitement? Terror? Well, I'm still alive, so Trapper clearly didn't carry through with his threat. You notice your stomach flutters with butterflies. Someone's in love. Well, I mean, it's, it's not a secret. I got it bad for Anna. Or you've been infected with zombie butterflies in your sleep. It has happened here before, but it's probably the love thing. <laughs> yeah. It's time! Claudette gestures over to the beach where the killers all stand flanked by tiki torches. It's a scene very reminiscent of a TV show you used to hate watch with your ex. Suddenly the message is clear. You are going to declare your affections for a killer in front of several other killers. Hey, isn't Trickster supposed to be here? We paid him good money to make some half-assed cameos in this show. I'm gonna chew his agent out. But before they walk you over for your big moment, don't think we haven't noticed how kind you've been to us, Mal. Why are their hearts coming out of you? No, no, neither of you are an option for me, okay? Claudette may be a woman, but I have my own taste and you... No, not even close to my type. Get out of here. Can't be easy being thrown onto a mysterious island for seemingly no real reason, surrounded by terrifying killers trying to manage your most primal impulses. Murder and making out. And you've kept a cool head and treated us, your friendly island host, with dignity and respect. You clearly haven't heard all the shit talking I've been doing. Okay. So don't tell anyone we told you this, but... Claudette and Dwight look around conspiratorially. Just a little hint for you going forward. Don't try to go all the way with a killer who isn't into you. Well, obviously, but Anna is very, very into me. But thanks for the tip. Relationships are two-way streets, and if you don't have a green light in the other direction, you might end up in the friend zone. Friend zone? That doesn't sound so bad. Where do you think you are, exactly? Dead by Daylight doesn't do friends. There are killers and there are survivors, and I'm afraid we can't say more. Okay, so who's into me? The fuck? Okay. I know, I know, it's a trope. Clueless, useless, lesbian, but come on. Even I know that Huntress is very into me. Are you... 
Whatever. I write. I guess I'm asking this really for real right now. Claudette and Dwight look around conspiratorially again. Well, I've seen the sparks flying between you and Huntress. Yeah, obviously. I think we've sparked up a whole bonfire at this point, but yeah. I saw her whittling a little figurine of you last night while everyone else was asleep. Anna. Oh my goodness, baby. So are you ready? Of course you're not, but too bad. We're on a schedule. That's fine. My choice was clear the moment I first saw her. You make your way over to the row of hotties. Claudette and Dwight stand off to the side, hands behind their backs. It's been quite the 48 hours, but there are clearly sparks in the air. And I'm not just talking about this rusty chainsaw, though I do recommend staying away from those sparks. It's time for our newcomer to confess their love. Wait, I have to do a drum roll for this. There's no suspense. You know who I'm going to pick. No, you don't, but who cares? Mal, who do you choose for your solo date? Can we at least do the flower thing? What? Are you trying to bachelor me right now? No. Dwight, I thought we agreed to keep that between us. What? No, not that flower. What? <sighs> I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Don't tell me. The thing where the suitor gets a flower is a symbol of the contestant's love and affection. Oh, right, right. I suppose. But no roses. They're such a cliche at this point. Was well, it going to be a flower like this one down here? Because I'd be down for that. Well, that's good, because I tried to pick a rose, but I got an ouchie, so I settled for these. There are no roses on this island! You're so full of shit! Oh, they are pretty. Beautiful. They are. Oh my goodness, what kind of flowers are these, and why is the ominous music playing? You've done good, Dwight. This is a lovely bouquet. I hope Dwight saved some of those for Claudette. They're a thing, right? You're getting that vibe, too? No, I'm not. Like, not even a little bit. What? No, Claudette's not that desperate. Just me? Sorry, sorry. You've got other things to think about right now. Mal, who do you select or seed these flowers and spend the day with you today? Three, two, fun. You turn to Huntress. For some reason, there is intense rock music playing right now. She's never looked more appealing. Her captain dress ruffles behind her in the light morning breeze. A seagull lands on her shoulder like she's a beachy cartoon princess. She snaps the seagull's neck and stuffs it somewhere under her flowery dress, probably to save for lunch. Ah, <sighs> she can't help but hunt, but man, is that hot. Huntress, I choose you. Let's spend the day together and see if we think a future is possible for our love. Me? Really? Are you really that surprised? Come on, baby. I've made it so obvious. Huntress throws her hands up in the air like a bear and gallops toward you. First, you think she might swipe at you with her gigantic hands and knock the life out of you. Instead, she scoops you up into a hug and takes her place at your side. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and she just stuck her tongue out at all the other killers. With a very intense face for some reason. <laughs> Maybe it's okay. Sometimes the immature move is the right one. Yeah, I'll accept that. It's sure to be a fun day. We'll just be here not getting to really participate, even though survivors matter too, while you go off and have a grand old time. Oh yeah, we definitely will. Yep, just Claudette and I hanging out. No one competing for our love. Wondering what we did in a past life to end up embroiled in this unrelenting misery. But go, have a blast. Okay, goodbye. Okay, Huntress, what have you got planned? What, what is it? What is it? We're on Trapper's Yacht. Oh, the power move. Oh, I am so in love. Huntress eagerly leads you to the yacht to begin your romantic day together. You have to admit, warm, salty air on your skin, the sound of crashing waves. This is a pretty perfect morning. Just you and Huntress. Hey, cuties. Get out! Well, I guess you can't leave. It's the ocean, but shut up! Ah, ocean's here too. Did you know that I'm teeming with flesh-eating bacteria and dead bodies? Okay. Ah, pesky ocean. Always killing the vibe. You turn to Huntress. You're sure you're okay here on the ocean? I know you don't like being out in the open. Something about being here with you makes me feel safe. Huntress? Oh, I feel safe with you too. You both sit down at a beautifully set table on the deck of the boat. A wide spread of mouth-watering breakfast goodies are arranged in front of you. Can we get you anything? What? Get out of here! You can get us some privacy is what you can get! Why are you here? Um, you look a bit green. I get extremely seasick. And Trickster replaced all the island's drama mean with party drugs, so... Drama mean. Okay. Wait, how did they get here? Weren't they just on the beach consoling the rejected killers? Are there more than two of them? Ugh, no. Please, God, no. You motion one of them over. We'll both take a screwdriver. Hold the orange juice. Of course. Hey, can you play this particular song for us? Set the mood. You hand Dwight a piece of paper with a song title written on it. Ooh, what song are we playing? Sure, although I doubt Trapper has it in his vinyl collection. Oh. Wait. Is this it? 
This doesn't sound like it. Soon the haunting melody of Huntress's mother's lullaby streams through the yacht's expensive stereo system. Maybe this is the instrumental of the lullaby, because this isn't the main da 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 da. Okay, sure. I'm not sure bringing up your mother right now is a good idea for a date, but okay. The boat rocks as though to the rhythm of the song. The eerie melancholy mood is really quite romantic. Yeah, it is. I think I'm back on board with this. Breakfast has never been this intimate. You reach out to touch the huntress's hand when suddenly a loud bellow scares you. You knock your freshly poured food of straight vodka onto the pristine deck. It's Trapper! He's screaming at us from the beach! Look how tiny he looks from all the way out here. <laughs> yeah, look how tiny he looks. Look at, look at the stupid baby man. Look at the little baby man. Little baby man! Huntress squishes his head between your fingers like a child and kicks. Damn you both! The chairs you're sitting on are worth more than your lives! Get back here! <laughs> no. He's not wrong. Hey, Claudette, take us out farther. Hi, Captain. Can she drive a boat? Guess we'll find out. Alone again. Nothing but the caw of a seagull and the ominous shadow of a creature lurking beneath the waves. I have something for you. He's in my kitty mask. He's in my kitten mask. Oh my goodness, yes. For me? Huntress reveals a package wrapped in a bloodied apron. You clap your hands like a kid on their birthday. Yes, yes they do. Her playful attitude is rubbing off on you. I made you that mask you asked for. <gasps> Yay! I almost forgot, but I bet you didn't. This is the whole reason you pursued Huntress, I bet. Definitely to get a mask of your own. No other reason. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I love arts and crafts. I, I love masks. De definitely. Huh. Here you go. <gasps> it's so cute. Can I put it on? Oh my goodness, it's so perfect. Give it to me. You sure about that? What are you- shut the fuck up, narrator me. Sh shut up, it's perfect. It certainly was a choice. I- listen, okay, you can make me another one later, but listen, maybe I just want to be cute and cuddly for you, alright? You both laugh. You toss the mask off the yacht. Aw, I don't even get to keep it. Well, you can make me another one later, because I still want us to be matching and cute, but fine. Alright, it was a little too cutesy. Good call. The whole time I was making it, I was like, this is- too weird. No amount of blood is ever gonna make it look cool. You sure about that? It could it could be terrifying to be killed by like basically what the equivalent of like an animatronic head. I don't know, your call, I guess. Let's go back to my place. Yes, please. She downs a screwdriver. Why'd she say it out loud? I don't know. Oh, we are going. Oh my goodness, yes. The tension is palpable as you enter the cabin. You can cut it with a hatchet. <laughs> Give me a break, it's day three of killer jokes. A narrator only has so much mojo. That is perfectly fine. Hunter sits you down at the cluttered table in the kitchen. You notice the blood stains that have crept into every nook and cranny of the wooden planks. What poor creature died on this table? Did they suffer? Doesn't matter. I don't think so. What do you care if they suffered? I don't. Fair point, Ocean. Get back in the ocean, Ocean. Stop backseat omniscient narrating. Stay here. Don't move a muscle or I'll hear it. I can hear any mammal's tendons creak as they stretch. It's a gift and a curse. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> ah, alone in the cabin. What to do, what to do. I'm not gonna freak out. What if I just tidy up? Clean up, clean up. Everybody do your share. I, you are not getting me to sing in that fucking tone. You have expected a flock of adorable birds and cute little mice to come sprinting in and help you, but they don't because this isn't some fantasy. This is greedy. This is real. Uh huh. Plus, I'm pretty sure she kills all the adorable birds and cute little mice. Well, that's perfectly fine. So you putter around the room by yourself, organizing Huntress's various trinket collections. Old bottles over here, discarded vintage doll parts over there, various keys that don't open anything in particular. Doesn't she have a drawer filled with these? Everyone has a drawer like that. Then you lay a blanket down in front of the fireplace. For no reason. No reason at all. Yeah. None whatsoever. Let me just stretch out here for you. You're certainly not imagining all the naughty things that could go down on such a blanket. I was just thinking of cuddling. I don't know where your mind went, narrator. What's that in her strong yet delicate hand? You reach out for her longing to stroke her blood matted hair and scratched up shoulders. I thought we could get warm by the fire. Mm hmm. She wags a finger at you, a bunnylicious smirk on her face. Not so fast. Oh yeah? Remember when we talked about how there's more going on here? I, I mean, yeah, but... You have time for that later. Come here. You nod like a little idiot. <laughs> Shut up. Well, I now know there's something up. 
Okay, fine, we'll talk about this now. The other night while you were sleeping like a cute little baby, I snuck into each of the other killer's lairs and I saw them with shiny objects that they've been stealing from me. I think they're connected somehow. Maybe it has to do with the symbol. I tried to go back last night, but something blocked me from picking any of the objects up. Someone or something knows I'm onto them. I think if you try, it might work. What do you say? <sighs> okay, fine. We'll get back to this later. Will you help? Yeah. Kind of just want to vibe in this moment. I do. I do. I want you here now, but... Hell yes. Hell yes, I will. A globe-trotting treasure on the level of Nicolas Cage masterpiece? You can definitely count me in. Let's go. Let's go. I'll be your guardian angel. You never know when those other killers might pop up. Yeah, sure, okay. You grab the huntress by the hand and practically trip over your own feet on your way out the door. Feels good to have a quest. Thrilling. But part of you is just wondering how quickly you can get through this and impress huntress. Yeah. Soon she'll take you in her yoked arms and you'll swoon. I'm already swooning, but... Just kiss me already. <laughs> Come on, please. He doesn't even have to be on the mouth yet. Like, I'll settle for the cheek at this point. Or the forehead. Just, I can't take all the teasing, babe. Your childhood crush on Popeye is making more and more... Speak for yourself. What do you... No. Get, get out of here with that. Absolutely not. Where do you want to start? Uh, anywhere. Anywhere. Let's just get this over with. I... Okay, I guess I don't get to pick. Oh. We're outside now. There are four killers who have stolen from Huntress. You're not going to let them get away with it. Which one will you investigate? Uh, we're, we're gonna go to Trapper first, just on principle at this point. Let's go to Trapper's. There are two ways to get to Trapper's cave. Due to the whole, you know, trap-based character theme he's got going on, you can rest assured that either one or both of these pathways is filled with traps. You turn to Huntress for advice, but she only giggles and shrugs her shoulders. You're on your own, it seems. I, okay, not much help here. Okay, babe. Guess you're gonna have to wing it. Which will you choose? Underground tunnel, I feel like. Cause like, this feels like the most direct path, but this one might be a little more discreet. Underground, huh? Sounds secretive. No one can stop you if they can't see you. That said, no one can rescue you if they can't hear you scream. I will, will be fine, I've got Anna with me. And nobody will need to waste their time burying you if you're already underground when you die. But you're not gonna die, are you? Hopefully not. Okay, here we go. Surely a dimly lit tunnel like this must be rife with traps. Well, yeah, but it's also like the sneakiest way. However, you manage to make your way along, distinctly uncaught by any traps, rusty, bare, or otherwise. I got this. You're doing great. Oh, thanks, babe. You're not at all afraid? Who, me? Nah. I gotta say, this is up there among the nicest, damp, and seemingly abandoned tunnels I've ever wandered through. Look, it even has lights. Inspired by the Huntress's bravery, you dig deep inside yourself and summon courage of your own. Which is good, because you're going to need it if you're going to head through that very murdery-looking passageway ahead. Okay, sure. Oh. Oh, this is so romantic. Why do you look so disgusted? This would be a perfect place for our first kiss. You, you should totally do that, like now. You enter into a human, shadowy cave. Dripping water echoes all around you. It's definitely not cozy like the cabin you left behind. Yeah, but it looks so pretty. You wonder, how deep does that pool of shiny water go? Let's get this over with. When your eyes adjust to the darkness, you see Trapper. He leans against the wall of the cave like a detective in an old film noir. Oh, hi. I knew you'd come. Yeah? Trapper, get out of our way or I'll skewer you and serve you for lunch. You're wasting your time. You'll never find what you're looking for. Unless what you're looking for is a mini game. No! No, what I've been looking for is for Anna's lips on mine. But clearly that's not gonna happen, so I guess I'll have to settle for beating your ass. What? A minigame? How unexpected. How playful. How about you play it right now? Okay, fine. Find Huntress's lost shiny thing. Uh, feel them eyes. They're on the hunt now. No, no, no. Do not tell- I know we've had our many skill checks bullshit, but I will take that over whatever this seems to be building up to be. Do not tell me you're gonna have me spot difference bullshit this- No. Okay, it's a skill check, because otherwise you would have told me otherwise. Alright, I guess I'm ready. Are you kidding me? Okay. Ooh, very close. Ooh, very good. Ooh, that one was very good. And I also very much recognize that symbol. Uh-oh, okay. I didn't miss, though. I didn't miss. Uh-oh, okay. Still within the marker. Still within the marker. Still within the marker. Ooh, 
and I found it, and I got hardcore mini gamer. Yes! Oh, babe, I did it! You did it. You found my lost shiny object. I'm so grateful I could kiss you right now. Please do, but I will... Anna, I, I don't care if he's still watching us. You better kiss me right now. Come here. But I won't, because I'm pretty sure Trapper didn't actually leave, and he's still over in that shadow watching us. Well, you better do it later, because come on. <laughs> later, Trapper, you thieving little perv. Hey, that's not fair. Cry about it. I don't want you. I'm huge. No one cares. Come on, Mal. Let's hurry to the next place. Yes, please. It's a pen. What? what is this going to turn into a sword? Are we going to Percy Jackson this? I don't know, but we got it. You found Huntress's shiny thing. And well, I think it's just a regular old pen. But we don't need to point it out. She's happy, and isn't all that matters? Well, we found it. Okay. And we've we've got the same dialogue again for the four killers. You know what? We'll go Wraith, Spirit, Trickster. Because that's like in the order of what intrigues me. Like in order of least. So we'll save the best for last. Because I feel like Trickster's on IP Island anyway. So let's go to the Cosmic Dump. Yeah, we'll go there. Ooh, the music's changed. When you arrive at Wraith's oddball hangout zone, you immediately understand why they call it the Cosmic Dump. They being me, obviously. It's as if there are items and elements from all over the universe in this space. Also, it's a damn mess. But it's undoubtedly a special place. The very air you breathe makes you feel like you're part of something much, much larger. I'm gonna go hunt us some lunch while you find the object. You'll know it when you see it because it's extremely shiny. Wait, don't, don't leave me alone. I, I wanna be with you. Okay, bye. Ah! How long have you been standing there? Are we ever really there? Okay, can we skip this? Give me the object back. I don't have time for your existential crisis today, Wraith. Huntress and I are totally gonna get it on soon. I think. I hope. God, look, I need to find a special object you have hidden here. You stole it from Huntress and she knows it. So you're trying to figure this whole thing out too, huh? Come check this out. What? Wraith what? Bit of a subject change, but sure, it's Wraith we're dealing with after all. Wraith leads you to a telescope. Through it, you can see a far-off island in the distance. IP Island? IP Island, right? Holy smokes, is that... Sorry, I have no idea what that is. Would you mind filling me in? It's IP Island. Yeah, I figured that. Where all the coolest killers from intellectual properties that were legally obliged not to mention by name hang out and party with Hollywood celebs and Silicon Valley moguls? That's not even all. Zoom in. Over there. Trickster? Why? Is that ghost face? I said not to name them. Oh, jeez, now I'm gonna have to clear the rights. You have no idea how much my lawyer charges by the hour. I, it's fine. I'm sorry, the little shit just kind of popped up. I'm telling you, something crazy is going on here. I'll have you know, I wasn't trying to steal anything from Huntress. I was just looking for answers, but I'm um, also occasionally losing said answers. Yep, that's right, the thing you're looking for, I can't actually find, so... Good luck, I guess. Well, at least you're on our side. Oh good, a minigame. Haven't seen one of those before in the past 10 seconds. Yeah, 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 let's do it. All right, I've gotten a lot better at these anyway, I think. Let's just take our time nice and easy. Yeah, nice. Ooh, that one was dead on. Okay, in the circle. Ooh. Okay, as long as we get within it on the last one, I'm fine, because that is stupid fast. You see an old pair of glasses on the ground and quickly grab them. You found it! So shiny. I knew I could count on you, Mal. Yeah? And that's saying something, because I literally never learned to count via any traditional system of numbers. <laughs> it's okay. Let's get out of here. Alright. Ooh, there we go. Glasses. It's hard to believe that these old glasses really mean anything special, but... A lady like Huntress deserves whatever she wants. Yeah, and apparently one of those things is me, and uh, you got me, babe. He spent a moment imagining Huntress with glasses. Would she wear them over the mask or under? Hmm. Well, okay, speaking as somebody who wears glasses over, because the mask is very much flush with their face. So I already know the answer to that. Hey, that's not just some junk. Those are my reading glasses. Wait, what? I just subscribed to highlights. Wh Wait. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, time to move on to the next killer, then. We go to Spirit. Hopefully Spirit will be willing, because, like, Spirit and I have gone on okay despite us not pursuing each other. This place is spooky as heck. Wasn't the beach sunny and beautiful just a moment ago? Well, it doesn't matter. I like it. So you're telling me that your precious shiny thing is... up there? It's pretty great, right? Finally, a good chance to activate these quads. 
You can get legs like this from standing still. Oh, the lighthouse. Yeah, it's beautiful. Kind of like you. I mean, moon is out. Maybe you want to... All right, she's back on the workout grind. God damn it. Okay. But you already know I love a good workout. Running, jumping, climbing, roughhousing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Get that damn shiny thing before your immeasurable horniness melts your brain and it runs down out of your ears already. It's not fair, okay? I She's been teasing me all game. It's not... Listen, it's not fair. Yeah, I called it out. It's obs to everyone. Just own it. I, my main bit, my main thing on this trail is that I am perpetually stuck in horny jail and not complaining about it okay listen this is not a new thing i've been owning it why hasn't game me been so shall we oh we definitely shall inside the lighthouse it's so dark that you can barely see the step in front of you but that's okay because you've got about 100 stairs to practice getting the hang of in this dark yikes however something about this gloomy place is weirdly wearing you out and messing with your otherwise happy horny aura what do you mean? This music is a vibe. You can practically feel your mood going down, down, down as you climb up, 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 higher into the lighthouse before you finally arrive at the top. Oh, jeez. Hey, Spirit, you're looking pretty pleased with yourself. This is a nice view. I mean, I know we're not dating, Spirit, but can we just come up here to hang out? Like, I wouldn't mind, like, getting to know you better as a friend. C can we all be friends here? I'd be adorable. You can be my best friend, Spirit. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this whole being dead thing. Did you totally get sadder the closer you got to the top of the tower? That was me, baby. Well, done. You set your own atmosphere and everything. I've got to share the wealth. And by wealth, I mean unending despair. You're probably here for one of your precious shiny things that I've stolen. Good luck finding it. Listen, I've gotten pretty good, okay, spirit? And when all this is over, why don't we be best friends? Because cause I like you. I like you a lot. I'll be over here reading if you need me. Let's find this shiny thing. Anything to brighten the mood in here. Don't miss the treasure. This is a treasure hunt, not a treasure miss. Listen, I've been doing pretty okay so far, all right? We are ready, and we are fucking vibing. And honestly, I kind of want to come back here at some point. I don't think Spirit would be too happy about us using this as a romantic rendezvous, but... You know what? I I'll, I'll get her, like, a present or something. We can still be best friends. Oh, missed that completely. Whoops. You win some, you lose some. Uh-oh. You lose some, you steal some. Quick, just grab the damn thing and let's go. Okay, never mind. It still counted because I got enough. Oh, this is cool. I like the way it looks. I know you're complaining that it's a bottle opener only, but I like the look of it. No wonder Spirit wanted this. This looks nice. I want one for myself. Shiny thing get. You found a bottle opener? Really? This is a fancy item? Whatever. You're a real team player. Yeah, close enough. Okay, I got at least one perfect. And that's all that matters, apparently. Hey. No. Stop. <laughs> Aw, spirit. Let me just... Let, let, here, here. I, I'm gonna hug you around this shard sticking out of your body because I don't want to cut myself up too bad, but... Mwah, forehead kiss. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta take this from you, okay? I gotta take this from you. I'll see you later, okay? We're gonna be best friends. Just you wait. Spirit doesn't even look up from her book. I think you'll be fine if you just peace out. Bye, spirit. We'll be best friends later. Oh my goodness, I love her. Trickster time. Are we going to IP Island for real for real now? Apparently. Or wait, d does he have one on our island? I guess so. You arrive at Trickster stage, but there's no one here. Not Trickster, not an audience, not anybody. Nothing eerier than an empty concert venue. Think of all the fringe that once swayed here. The beers that sloshed over red solo cups. Mosh pits. Tall guy staying in front of you for the entire show. Lifelong friendships that actually only lasted for one summer. Good times. Uh, can't really relate, but okay. My concerts are always an experience. Yeah, hi, Trickster. You should really come to one of my after parties sometime. They're a real scream. I'll put you on the VIP list. I'll pass, but thanks. I prefer acoustic balalaika music. Definitely butchered that. Trickster, I've never listened to your music once in my life, and I think the sampling the sounds of people's screams has very been there, done that. Hey, no one talks to Trickster like that. And how do you know about my samples? Somebody is obviously a much bigger fan than they're letting on. Uh, I still gotta learn how to play you, not gonna lie. Like, to be legit right now, I bought Killer, I bought Spirit, and I bought frigging the artist just so I could learn somebody else other than Huntress, and uh, I haven't learned them yet, full disclosure. But I do know about your music, so... 
That's about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me where Huntress's shiny, mysterious object is, or I'll wipe that grin off your face with a chloroform drenched rag. Way to harsh my mellow. Deranged violence and torture is only cool when I do it because it's my commentary on a shallow society, and I make it look sexy as hell. Well, that's why we're basically the same person, Trickster. You are me if I have, like, just a bit more confidence. Okay? We can be best friends, too, if you'd like. But you don't seem really interested in being any kind of friendly, so... It's gonna have to be spirit for now. You can be second best friend, though. Your thingamajig is that away. Trickster backs away from you and resumes practicing an intricate dance routine. Can you teach me how to dance? Because I suck at dancing. All right, let's go get your object. The way you stood up to that bootleg Bat Street boy just now was... Wow. If I weren't so strong and stable on my feet, I'd swoon. But it just wouldn't be believable. I mean... Listen, buff girls can swoon too. I wouldn't mind if you swooned a little for me. Find me my shiny thing, champion. Oh, I definitely will. All right, here we go. Come on, let's do better than last time. Mmm, missed that one completely. Oh, still not too bad. You did it! Yay! I got just enough to do it, sweet. Your ability to find the unfindable is quite uncanny. A natural hunter, I must say. Oh yeah? Tell me more. Do you think I might be able to find your heart? I would hope so. It's very important to locate and remove all the internal organs of your prey as soon as you fell them so their meat doesn't spoil. Um, not what I meant, but yes, I guess. Ooh, thank you. Wait, that that's legitimately, that's a coin. You found a gold coin with a symbol on it. And that coin's been on all the skill checks so far. Huh. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Phew, that was fun and scary. Good to see the other killers are taking their heartbreak in stride. More or less. And you got a really nice tour of some of the island's lesser known haunts. Huh, <laughs> boom, still got it. Yeah, uh, whatever, narrator me. We make a pretty good team, you and I. Oh yeah? What can I say? I appreciate a fine collection. Now that yours is back in order, maybe we head back inside to appreciate it? And you collect a certain other special gift I've been meaning to give you? A special gift? Is it shiny? Um, I don't know about that. It could be. Depends. I suppose it could be, if you, uh, oil it up enough. I'm going to be ill. Get, then get out of here. Go away. Oh my goodness, is it finally happening? When you enter the cabinet's dark, barely lit, deep shadows stretching from wall to wall, somehow it manages to be a little bit terrifying, but also a little bit romantic. But you barely even notice. You've got other things on your mind. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> your face! <laughs> I want you to, but god! Also, wow. Wow. Look at you, those abs and those hips. Oh my god. This overlay of the intense rock music and the soft romance music is a little confusing, but... <laughs> wow. Okay, you're practically undressing each other as you walk through the door. Lines elsewhere, neither of you realize that the door was wide open already. Wait, that's not good. I mean, I I'm glad that this is happening and all that, but wait, somebody must already be here. Wait, hold on, hold on. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but hold on. H hold on a second. You were incredible. Every time you found one of the objects, my heart beat faster and faster. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm so excited. I'm just a little... Uh, listen, I, I do want this and I want you, but th the fact that these two pieces of music are colliding, I'm a little... Um... Your nimble hands. Is there anything they can't find? Uh... 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 Listen, I'm a little distracted now that I know the door's already open. Um, wait, hold on. Fireplace is crackling. Your heart is pounding. Small cinnamon is in the air, but... Wait, yeah, wait, hold, hold, hold on. I, I do, I want you, I do, but wait. Who is that? Yeah, who the, who, who is that? I, I knew there was a reason that this wasn't completely romantic. Wait, okay, let me just cover you a little bit as much as I can. Let me, let me just like jump up on you and cover you up a little bit. Uh, who are you and why? You definitely don't look like any of the killers I've seen before, unless I'm missing somebody, unless you're a secret survivor or something. I... I don't know who you are. But you know what? If you want to find out with me, you're gonna have to subscribe so you know when the next episode of this comes out. That's right, I'm leaving you on a cliffhanger because get fucking fucked. Yes, I said cliffhanger. Words are hard right now, okay? I was about to, like, finally, 
finally get something happening here, but then this fucker fucking interrupted me. So guess what? I'm interrupting your plot, but uh, <laughs> we'll pick up with this next time and find out who this mystery person is. So thank you so much, whoever else who watched this. Like, comment, subscribe. Really does help me out. Until next time. Bye.